Yo, uh, I didn't hear you. Shit. Your mic's cutting off. Is my mic cutting out, guys? And are you guys able to yeah, hear me? Yeah, I know. Me? It's a little bit for me. Yeah, my, I have, my, like I said, my, my connection is bad, so you might have to be patient with me if my mic is cutting. But if my mic is cutting, then I can. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Well. But yeah, okay, so it's it's yeah. all right. Okay, man. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so okay. just for some background, I uh, I am a Muslim, but I'm you know I heard a theory that you guys brought out. Uh. Regarding the the Bible and the, how the Quran proves the re reliability of it, I would like to hear some more yes. about that. Yeah, because I'm trying to like note it all down. And, I mean, write it all down and then just like ask it to some Muslims if you get that. If if, if that's fine, you know, I'm not trying. Yeah, I'm that's not here to waste your time. Fine, or anything. All right, good. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, any anybody that's honestly seeking and trying to get knowledge and do genuine research is uh. It's not a waste of time, bro. So, yeah, um, yeah, appreciate it. So, this is how the argument goes. Okay. So, the argument is this mm -hmm. it's that obviously, as you said it, the Quran confirms the revelation and the preservation of the previous scriptures. Okay. Yeah. It nowhere uh -huh. teaches that the previous scriptures have been corrupted. And so, to teach that, to, to argue, that what we have today is a corrupted version of the Torah and the gospel is would be going against the Quran and proving the Quran false since it confirms it. So this is how you, this is why this is why we make this argument. So if you go to, for example, chapter three, verse three of the Quran, chapter three, verse three and three uh, and four. Yeah, I got it in front of me. You got that and in front of me? And four. Yes. Yeah. All right, good. So both of them, right? That he's revealed the Quran, he sent down the Quran confirming the Torah and the gospel that came before a four time that had guidance and light for mankind and the criterion, right? So the Torah and the gospel what do you mean are... By the criterion? Uh, hmm? What do you mean by the criterion? Uh, it, I, I don't know. It, the Quran just says right. it. It says okay, it sure, sure, the, sure. the Quran, the Torah, the gospel, and the criterion. It might be the Psalms. Yeah, sure. It might be just that these books contain the criteria by which they should judge. I, I don't honestly know exactly. Um, it's open for interpretation on that one. Yeah, go on. Um, so, so you have that, right? Now, you know, the Muslim argument goes, okay, yeah, well, of course, we believe in the original Torah and the original gospel, but it's been corrupted. We don't, what you have, we don't believe that that is what the Quran was talking about, right? However, yeah. this is where... The problem comes for is for Islam is that the Quran says that it's confirming not just the scripture, the Torah and the gospel of the past, but it's confirming the Torah and the gospel that they have in their possession. That's there with them okay. currently. All right. Okay. So, so where do you chapter, get that from? So you go to there's a few verses. You go to chapter two. Yeah. Verse verse forty one. Uh huh. Verse 89 of chapter verse 90. two as well. Yep, yep. I'm gonna give you some a few verses in chapter two. They all say the same thing. Verse 41, verse 89, verse 91. Okay. And let me just check because there's a few more. Let me just make sure I check. I know those 89, 91. Sure. Yep, 89, 91, verse verses 89. Verse, so chapter two, verse 41, chapter two, verse 89. Chapter two, verse ninety-one, and I believe chapter two, verse one hundred one. If I'm not, let me just check it myself, just to make sure it's it's the right one. All right. <clears throat> yes. Yep. Verse one hundred one. Chapter three or two. Two. All of this is in chapter two. Okay. Okay, because so I did see some, yeah, I did see some verses that mm -hmm. that, that Muslims use to, to, well, you know, rebuke this argument it was somewhere in chapter five as well. So what would your response be to that or arguments like those? Yeah, so <clears throat> they are mis misrepresenting the verse. So if we go to chapter five, what they're, what they're quoting is verse 13. 
verse 13, where it says that they distort words from their context or change words from the right places. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Even when even when you go to the Tafsir, like if you go to Ibn, what Ibn Kathir says, it's talking yeah, about you, how they. Yeah, I don't I don't follow Ibn Kathir. You don't follow Ibn Kathir? No, I'm Shia. Oh, you're Shia. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, so I don't know who your who your scholars are, but so you could um, use Ibn Abbas and and those people. Ibn Abbas. Okay, that's yeah. good. That's good. Well, he quotes he quotes Ibn Abbas actually. He quotes yeah. he quotes Ibn Abbas. He quote Ibn Kathir quotes Ibn Abbas saying how mm -hmm. the Torah and the Gospel remain as they as they always have been. That no that nobody can change all those words. So he quotes okay. Ibn Abbas saying that, but. That's another reference. But so in here in chapter five, verse 13, where it says <clears throat> that, let me just put it up on the screen so everybody can see this too. Okay. Yeah, I, if you don't mind, I do have a, a few other verses after you've gone over these, uh, over this one. Yeah. Of That's fine. Of course. Sure. Mm -hmm. So it says here, right? It says, so for their breaking their impact or their compact or their covenant, we cursed them and made their hearts hard. They perverting words from their meanings and they have forgotten a portion of that they were reminded of. And you will not cease to light upon some act of treachery on their part, except a few of them. All right. Oh, OK. Yeah. So you will never you will never stop seeing acts of treachery on their part, except for a few of them. So there's some of them that are good. A lot of them are bad, though. All right. Yet part of them forgive. Surely God loves the good doers. So this verse says that they pervert words from their meanings. Or mm -hmm. another version might say that they change words from the right places. So yeah. this is saying that they're misinterpreting the text. They're distorting the meaning. Not that they're changing right. and corrupting the actual text, but that they're misrepresenting the text. They're misinterpreting it, distorting it with, okay. their, with their meaning. Make sense? Mouth. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So another one would be a passage. Uh, yeah, chapter 2, verse 75 to 79. Very good. Yeah. Similarly. <clears throat> so chapter 2, verse 75 to 79. Now, remember, we just, we just quoted... The verses, I, I just want to put this in perspective. We just sure. quoted some verses in chapter two, right? I gave you what, four verses in chapter two alone mm -hmm. that says that the scriptures that they have are good, right? That yeah. they what they have currently in their hands is good. So that would mean that if, if, if uh, verses 75 to 79 is saying that what they have is actually corrupted, then that would mm -hmm. contradict the other verses yeah. in the Quran that say that no, it's confirming what they have. They're, what they have is good. Yeah. So, so that would be problematic terrible, as well. Yeah. Exactly. That'll be problematic. Now, for me, I'm a Christian, so I have to be truthful. Now, I could go the easy way and just say, oh, well, cool. That's a contradiction in your Quran. However, uh -huh. I have to stand on truth and just and be honest. That's not what the Quran says. Not even in these verses does it say that. It's not saying okay. that they went in and corrupt their own scriptures. I have to be honest. Okay. You know, so yeah. I don't believe that the Quran is contradicting itself here. I don't. Okay. As fun as that as as that may be. So <laughs> Yeah, so you, you believe it's reaffirming itself in that sense? Yes. Yes. So so here when we let's let's go ahead and go through hold on, let me get Quran.com so I can see all the verses in my Guys, again, forgive me if my connection is terrible. No, nah, it's it's better right now. It's way better. Okay. okay. So it says... Starting at verse uh, 75, on, hold on, let me zoom in, make sure we can see it. Starting at verse 75, do you covet that they will believe in your religion in spite of the fact that a party of them, now here's important, a party of them, some of them, 
right? Used to hear the word of Allah. Then they used to change it knowingly after they understood it. So is this saying that they went into the text and changed the text? Or is it saying after they heard the words, they then knowingly changed what they heard even after understanding it? Did they, did they change it with their text or are they distorting with their mouths? No, they're distorting with their mouth. Pretty clear. Because they understood it, yeah. Exactly. They understood it, but they're still lying about what, what they understood. They're lying about it, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Distorting what it says. Now, let's continue. Now, remember, this is only some of them that are doing this, not all of them. So some yeah. of them are hearing the words and, get, and keeping those words, not distorting it, not lying about what it says, teaching correct yeah. doctrine, right? Verse 76. And when they meet those who believe, uh, let me skip the parentheses here, they say, we believe. But when they meet one another in private, they say, shall you tell them what Allah has revealed to you? Hold on, skip in the brackets. That they may argue with you about it before your Lord? Have you then no understanding? So it's saying how some of them will lie to the Muslims and say, yeah, we believe in what you have, but privately, you know, obviously disbelieve and disagree and yada, yada. Verse 77, know they not that Allah knows what they conceal and what they reveal. So he knows what they're hiding. Verse 78, and there are among them unlettered people who know not the book, but they trust upon false desires and they just guess. So they don't even know the book, some of these people. How can they corrupt and change something that they don't know? Yeah. Verse 78. All right. Mm -hmm. Now here's 79. Here's the popular one that they use. So after saying all of that, after we've just seen that it's only some who hear the word and then distort it with their mouths, who pretend to believe in what the Muslims have, but then secretly in their hearts reject it when they're private with each other. After all of that, now we're getting to verse 79 yeah. says, then woe to those who write the book with their own hands and then say, this is from Allah to purchase it with a little price. Woe to them for what their hands have written and woe to them for what they earn thereby. Now, even this is not even saying that the text of the Torah is corrupted. Why? Because it's saying woe to those who write the book with their own hands, claiming that it's from God. So they're writing fake books, relying on books that they write themselves instead of the Torah. They're putting books okay. that they wrote, their rabbis, their teachers, above the actual Torah. Uh -huh. Go ahead, if you have something you want to ask or say. Uh, no, that's that's clear. I'm going to do some more research, you know, with the Tafsir and stuff. Uh, but, it, but it's clear. But there was one more, I, I believe. One second. Bear with me here. Okay. Uh, yeah, there were no. Actually, there were two more. Uh, chapter three, verse seventy-seven to seventy-nine. Because I'm not really here to this to to debate. I'm really here to listen to what you have to say. Mm -hmm. You know, I respect mm -hmm. you. Honestly, it's one of the, the you know as a as a apologetic or someone that teaches Christianity. Just you're a respectful for every person, bro. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Because I'm not gonna. I'm nice. you know I'm like a. I'm not going to layman. I'm not going to debate about stuff I don't know. That's perfectly fine, bro. That's that's fine and that's honorable. You know, when um, yeah, I appreciate when you it. don't know, you ask questions and you do research. That's all we can ask. Yeah, <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. we don't get a lot of guys like you. We get guys who want to argue even when they don't know the subject. <laughs> it's it's silly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, appreciate, I appreciate you, man. man. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so chapter 3, verse 77 to 79. Now, this is the part where I was talking about where Ibn Kathir, he quotes Ibn Abbas. So I'll show you that in a second, but let's go ahead and get through these verses. Um, so, 77. Verily, those who purchase a small gain at the cost of Allah's covenant and their oaths, they shall have no portion in the hereafter. Neither will Allah speak to them, nor look at them on the day of resurrection, nor will he purify them. And they shall have a painful torment. Verse 78. This is the this is the one. 
And barely among them is a party of them, right? So some of them, but now watch, listen. Barely among them is a party who distort the book, how? With, With their, tongues. their tongues. So that you may think it is from the book, but it's not from the book. And they say, this is from Allah, but it's not mm -hmm. from Allah. And they speak a lie against Allah while they know it. All right. So clearly, how are they distorting the book? With their tongues. They're lying about it. Yeah. All right. In verse 79. Uh, it is not possible for any human being to whom Allah has given the book and knowledge and prophethood to say to the people, be my worshipers rather than Allah's worshipers. On the contrary, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, oh, on the contrary, be you, what is this? Be you learned men of religion who practice what they know and also preach to others because you are teaching the book and you are studying it. Okay. So they're distorting it with their tongues. They're lying about what it says. Now, let's check out what Ibn Kathir says of this. He quotes Ibn Abbas. So I know you don't follow mm -hmm. Ibn Kathir, but you follow yeah. Ibn Abbas, so I think it's worth it's worth seeing. So this is what Ibn Abbas says in Bukhari. Let me just pull this up real quick, and this will be that. Yeah, I'll pull it, also, uh, I'll pull it up as well. Which verse specifically? The same one, 77, right? Uh, 78. 79? Yeah. And that is from the second chapter. No. Say that again? Because you... you that is from the second chapter because you, or from the third one, because you. This is uh, chapter three. Chapter three, oh, verse no, seven. He says, says something about chapter two. Never mind. This is, uh, yeah, so in regard to this specific verse that you brought up, so Ibn Abbas makes fun right. He says something. So I think I have it on the screen. All right, good. So it's on the screen. So oh, yeah. <clears throat> what it says, right? So who distort the book with their tongues? means they alter them, right? Allah's words. Now, Al-Bukhari reported that Ibn Abbas said that the ayah means they alter and add, although none among Allah's creation can remove the words of Allah from his books, plural. So not just the Quran, but any of Allah's books, they can't remove the words of Allah from them. They can't add or take away. So yeah. what does it mean? It says, so Ibn Abbas continues, it says, they alter and distort their apparent meanings. All right. So that's Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas says, they distort the meaning of the text, but none can actually change Allah's wor actual words. It can't All be. Right, so how would, how would one distort the meaning of the text without really changing the words? So, That's a bit yeah. Confusing. So how, how do I, yeah, how do I distort, how do I distort the meaning without changing the text? So, for example, if uh, if I if I go to the Quran, and you know Surah Ikhlas, where it says that Allah is one; He neither begets nor is begotten, right? Yeah. Pretty clear verse that says, it, right? He doesn't beget nor is he begotten. But then I come and I say, and I just say it. I, I start teaching this. See, the Quran says that Allah does beget and he is begotten. That's me changing and distorting yeah. the text without going in and actually rewriting it. Yeah. Okay. In that sense. Yeah. So I'm just lying about what it says. Yeah. So the last one, which would be chapter five, verse 48. And then after that, I was, uh, I'm going to quote, um, an argument which a lot of Muslims tend to use, and I just want to see what you're going to say about that. Surely you've heard it before, but yeah. So chapter five, verse forty-eight. Yeah, I believe that's the one. Let me just make sure. Yep, that is the one. That is the one. They they try okay. to use this to say that the Quran is a supreme authority over the scriptures when it doesn't say that. So. Um, Let's go back to Quran.com. You know what? Let me just open a tab with Quran.com. Uh, 
Yes, Avery is always eating, man. I gotta stay, gotta stay neutral, you know. Gotta stay uh, hydrated and stuff. Subhan Yeshua. <clears throat> okay. So 548. Is it on the screen? I can't tell yet. Yeah, it is. All right, perfect. So this is 548, guys. So this is what it says. And we have sent down to you, right? Talking about Muhammad. The book in truth confirming the scripture that came before it and a Muhammad over it. Muhammad is a trustworthy witness or guardian of it. Really, the literal meaning is, is guardian. Literal translation is guardian. So it's a trustworthy witness or guardian over the scriptures. They try to say, oh, wait, no, this means supreme authority. That's not what the word means. Muhammad is guardian. So it's a guardian over the scriptures. So now it continues. So judge among them by what Allah has revealed and follow not their vain desires, diverging away from the truth that has come to you. So they'll say, oh, well, you see here, it tells us to judge. It says use the Quran to judge the previous scriptures. No, it doesn't. It's talking about the people. So judge among them by what Allah has revealed and follow not their vain desires. Whose vain desires? Books don't have vain desires. The people have vain desires, right? Trying to mislead people. Yeah. So you're using the Quran to judge, and for the Muslims here specifically, to judge between them and not follow their vain desires, right? Now, using the truth that came to you. Now, it continues. To each among you, talking about the Jews, Christians, and Muslims. I'll show you this in this context. To each among you, we have prescribed a law in a clear way. To each of you. So the Jews, they have their law, the Torah. Christians, you have your law, the Injil, the gospel. Muslims, you have your law, the Quran. Right? Now, it says, if Allah had willed, he would have made you one nation. If he wanted to, he would have made you all just one people, one religion, basically, one following one law. But he yeah. didn't want that. He would have made you one nation, but that he may test you in what he has given you. So complete, so compete in good deeds. The return of all of you is to Allah. Then he will inform you about what you what you used to defer. So even this is affirming the authority of the previous scriptures, not just before. But even in that time, during Muhammad's time, when the Quran is even there, the previous, uh, the previous scriptures are still authoritative over those people. Because Allah, if he wanted to, he would have told them, hey, just follow the Quran, just follow the law of the Quran. No, you have the Torah, you have the gospel, follow your own laws. All right? Now, this is backed up okay. by the previous verse. If we go to verse 43, like we're just going to go a few verses before this. Look at what verse 43 okay. says. Can we look at the at the tafsir tafsir after this one? Yeah, yeah. If you want. Uh, of this specific verse, because I just want to be sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. But now look, just to show you in context what it's saying. If we go to a few mm -hmm. verses before, verse forty-three, it says, "But how do they come to you for decision while they have the Torah?" in which is the decision of Allah. Yet even after that, they turn away. They are not really believers. So the Quran is saying, okay. even now, how do they come to you, Muhammad, when they have the Torah? They don't need to come to you. They have the Torah, which has Allah's judgment. So the Jews yeah. are supposed to judge yeah. by the Torah. Right? Let's go to verse 47, mm -hmm. just as, you know, because it, it just elaborates some more on this. Um, but verse 46 now, verse 46 and 47. And in their footsteps, we sent Isa, son of Mary, confirming the Torah that had come before him. And we gave him the gospel in which was guidance and light and a confirmation of the Torah that had come before it, a guidance and admonition for the pious. So verse 47 let the people of the gospel 
judged by what Allah has revealed therein, in the gospel. And whoever does not judge by what Allah has revealed, such people are the rebellious to Allah. Mm -hmm. So okay. the, the Christians, what are they supposed to judge by? The gospel. And then you get verse yeah. 48. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah, uh, so I just pulled up the tafsir of of uh, verse 43, and it says that it is regard uh, that it regards the stoning as something along the lines of stoning or changing the, the law of stoning. Could you just clarify that for me? Because, yeah, so there's a there's actually a hadith on this, it gives the whole background on this. So, the hadith, okay, sure. the hadith now is I know like you said, Shia, but yeah, but this is the this is what they're talking about. Um, to Abu Dawood 4449. So, this is what they're talking about. Let me get this up. This is what, uh, what they're talking about, bro. Here it is. <clears throat> it's right here. So this yeah, is this gives the background. I, yeah, I know, I know sure you don't, I know you don't follow yeah, these on these, but just, just, just for the education of of the background okay, sure. of this verse, sure. it talks about the situation of the stoning that was taking place when they tried to come to Muhammad for judgment. All right, so it says narrated Abdullah ibn Umar, a group of Jews came and invited the messenger of Allah to Kuf. All right, so he visited them. They said. Abu Qasim, one of our men, has committed fornication with a woman. So pronounce mm -hmm. judgment upon them. So here are the Jews coming to Muhammad for judgment. Just like how that verse says, like, why do they come to you for judgment when they have the Torah? All right. Is the background of this. So the Jews are coming to him. Somebody committed fornication. So they come to Muhammad for judgment. They placed the cushion for the messenger of Allah who sat on it and said, bring the Torah. It was then brought. He then withdrew the cushion from beneath him and placed the Torah on it, saying, I believed in you and in him who revealed you. So Muhammad's saying okay. to, about the Torah, yeah. there in his time, I believe in you and the one who revealed you. He then said, bring one who was learned among you. Then a young man was brought. The transmitter then mentioned the rest of the tradition of stoning similar to the one transmitted by Malik from Nafi. So what's what's happening here is they they you know the learned one came and said, Oh, here's the law in the Torah, what it says. The Jews they didn't want to follow that law because the law was stoning, the punishment was stoning for the fornication. They didn't want to follow that, they just wanted to whip whip them and hoped that Muhammad would give a different judgment. But he said, no, follow your Torah. Your Torah already has the judgment in there. And so that's the background. Okay, so what you're trying to do here is grab the context of the tafsir, right? Say that again? You're trying to grab the context of the tafsir. Yes. Has, has this hadith been quoted in the tafsir? Uh yes, and the few tafsirs that bring this up, yeah, they bring up this, they bring up this hadith, they bring up a few other hadith where they try to cover the verse, they try to hide it, like they they put their hand over the verse so that they wouldn't see it. So yeah, yeah. So which ones? I'm not exactly sure, man. I, I'd have to have to go back and check and reread those. Um, I'm, I'm not sure, sure if it's it. But, but you're just a Shia, to be right? critical, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, no, you're that's Shia, fine. So like, these these will be Sunni these will be Sunni tafsirs that I'm that I'm talking about. I I haven't seen the Shia tafsirs on it. Yeah, of course I guess. Oh, but uh, so one one guy one hundred says uh, Ibn Kayyim cites it. Ibn Kayyim. Ibn who? Kayyim. Kayyim. Ah, okay. Yeah. Kayyim. He's one of uh, Ibn Taymiyyah's students. Yeah, Ibn Taymiyyah. Is he? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> okay. That's good to know for sure. Because it was just for the sake of the argument. But... Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it, it still would make a, a really a big difference for me personally because the, Ibn Taymiyyah and them, I don't really follow them. The, right. Yeah. 
if you get what I'm saying. But but even if let, let's yeah, let's if, if if we take the scholars out of it, I feel like the Quran is clear enough on its own here, right? It literally says, "Sure, why do they come to you when they have the Torah in which Allah's judgments are in?" That's what the verse says. So, I mean, you don't really need anybody to further explain that because it's it's pretty clear on its own, you know. Sure. So yeah, I mean, so I'm these not, I'm are reasons. To... That... Yeah, go. On. No, go ahead. Go ahead. You're not used to what? Okay. Now I, I was I was gonna say I'm not used to reading the Quran without any tafsir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Yeah. That's that. That's funny. But yeah, I mean, I, I would be interested to see what the Shia say if they have the same sure. story that backs up that verse. But um, yeah. The, the 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 verse is pretty is pretty clear to me. So this is why. So if you read verses 43, if somebody quotes chapter five, verse 48, start at mm -hmm. verse 43 and go all the mm -hmm. way to 48. And you see what 48 is talking about. Right now, the Torah, the gospel and the Quran are all Allah's laws that he prescribed to each group of people. OK, that they have okay. to rule yeah. by. And So, yes, yeah, so these are verses showing the reliability of our scriptures, right? It's there. It's authoritative. They have to judge by it or else they're wrongdoers. The authority of it, the reliability of it, the preservation of it, like it's there. They're using it. They're judging it. They're reading it, right? It's around. It's circulating. So this idea that it's been lost or that it's corrupted, it's just, it's not, that's not what the Quran teaches. Okay. Because um, I hope that helps. Yeah, of course. But I'm just gonna quote uh, an argument that some uh, Muslims use. Because, like I said, I'm gonna take this with me to talk to educated people and then just see what they come up with, see if it's clear enough. Because I'm really just a a seeker of truth, you know. So, just I, I just want to see what you would and what you know, how you would answer to this particular argument. Uh, so I'm just going to quote it. I'm not going to say anything back. Just go ahead. So it goes, if you believe that the Quran is not from God, but from the devil, why does it constantly reassure people of the previous scripture who, according to you, are true? May use this. So Repeat it. If you believe that the Quran is not from God, but from the devil, why does it constantly reassure people of the previous scripture, scripture who, according to you, are true? Hmm. Yeah, uh, so, very simple. Because um, if, if, if the devil is using someone who's ignorant of the scriptures, um, they'll have a desire to... to uh, get the people of the previous scriptures to believe in them. So the reason why it's continuously affirming the previous scriptures is because it wants these people, it wants the Jews and the Christians to believe in them, in him as a prophet. So and Satan. If, I want to, if I want to win them over, I'm going to say, hey, I agree with you. Hey, your scriptures, we are on the same page. OK, I, I've just come confirming what you have. Mm, okay? OK, what I have is on the same line as yours. So you should believe in me as a prophet. OK. Yeah, that's clear. Yeah. Yeah. So what would you say about the, the, the specific verses uh, in the Bible that Muslims tend to use to prove that Muhammad was in the Bible? You know, I believe it was Deuteronomy chapter 16, some, something along those lines. Deuteronomy 18. 18, my bad. <clears throat> yeah, we just show that they're, they're <laughs> when we go through them, we show how it can't possibly be Muhammad. De Deuteronomy 18, the prophet like Moses, uh, it says that, okay, so let's just, I'll just quote it directly. It says, um, the Lord your God will raise up a prophet like me from among you, from among mm -hmm. your brothers. So 
the prophet that's going to be raised up like Moses is going to be raised up among the Israelites. He's an Israelite. Okay. Yeah. So it can't possibly be okay. Muhammad. Muhammad yeah. was an Israelite. Okay. Yeah, so you as a Christian believe that Muhammad kind of just like stole things from different religions and then compiled like his own type shit. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, but my bad, my bad. <laughs> 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 Go ahead, get it out. It's okay to laugh. All right. It's all right. Just don't, just don't make that mistake again. Look, you, you're good. All right. Okay, bro. <laughs> oh man. Go ahead, though. Uh, yeah. So what was gonna? Yeah. So you, as a Christian, you believe that like Muhammad just kind of like took different scriptures and stuff, and and then just like compiled his one really his own religion yeah so i i believe that i believe that muhammad didn't know what was in the scriptures at all and so he heard a lot of things he used to hang around a lot of jews and uh, he used to hang around you know someone named morica you know who used to teach him and stuff who used to write the gospel down and stuff like that and yeah. so he used to hear a lot of stories a lot of things and he absorbed that and put you know added that to his stuff and put even an Islamic twist on it. So, um, yeah, so he heard a lot of things. He ne he didn't know what was actually in the scriptures. He didn't know what was fable or what was true, what was legend and what was historical, and put it all yeah. together in an Islamic bunch. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I do have a few questions about certain Bible verses, but I, I don't know if that's right, the right time right now because I took like 40 minutes of your time and you know, I I appreciate you for taking the time. But I, should I come back another time, or what, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, come, come, come back, come back next time, bro, and we'll 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 All deal right, with the time. Bible questions that you have. Okay. Okay, sure. For I sure. appreciate you, man. This is good. I this is, I, a lot of people are going to benefit from from your questioning and stuff like that. So this is good. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, no, I got to thank you for your time and stuff. I appreciate it, brother. All right, you take See care, you, man. Yeah, you too. See you. That's Ali, man. Good young man. Asking good questions, doing good research types. You feel me? You know, he's just doing his research and just trying to, you know, get the uh get the knowledge, trying to be critical types. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, well, well. Well, well, well. It's about time, man. I was about to bounce, bro. <laughs> You ready to get rich or what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know you are. <laughs> so what do you have? What do you have for me? What do you have? I saw the title. <clears throat> I'm really interested in what you got. I like that. I like that. <laughs> just just to be clear, so I know where you, you know where you're from, where you're coming from. Are you Sunni or Shia? Come on, you know what I am. You saw my videos. For the for, for the for the interest of the audience, yes, I am Sunni. I am Salafi. Wait, can you let us know right. who you are? Because I, I honestly don't I honestly don't come on. You I don't, don't know who I am and your comments are on my videos. <laughs> Why do you are, think are I you came? The this is the second time you invited me. <laughs> Say that again? This is the second time what? This is the second time you invited me. Are you the are you the black dude? Oh, I Again? Are you the black dude? Yes, I'm the black dude. Of course I'm the black dude. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know who you are. Are you came? Yes. Surprise. Why don't you like <laughs> <laughs> you should come on camera, man? No. Why not? I just finished work and I, I didn't uh you know powder my face or whatever <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, it's all, good. <laughs> all right well welcome man welcome to the to the platform man thanks for coming through mm -hmm. so you're, you're interested in what i have i'm interested in the title let's go what you got 
Okay, okay, okay. I'll give you what I got, man. I'll give you what I got. So mm -hmm. you have Allah in the Quran mm -hmm. that attributes a lot of titles and attributes to himself that we see 600 years prior was attributed to Jesus. Such okay. as? Such as, for example, like Al-Haq, for example. Okay. You go to chapter 22, verses uh, 6, verse 6, chapter 22, verse 6. Mm -hmm. uh, it says that Allah, he is Al-Haq, the truth. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so what's the problem? Now, well, we see this 600 years beforehand that Jesus claims to be the truth. And John chapter I am the truth, the way and the light. Is that what you're referring to? Mm hmm so what you're trying to tell me, Avery, in front of all these folks, because Allah uh, basically called himself the truth, he bit it from Jesus, alayhi salam. Is that what you're trying to say? What I'm saying is this. It's not simply that he calls himself the truth and therefore he's copying Jesus. It's that uh, Islam claims to have a tie with Jesus and the teachings of Jesus. And so you see this, this thread, this connection when it comes to Islam and Christianity. And then you see that these similar titles that, you, that Jesus has about himself and, and Christianity in the Bible, the Quran applies to Allah. And so... Avery, let me ask you a question, okay? Is God sure. the truth? Yes. Only God is the truth. Would you agree? So the only God is the truth. Correct? Say, say, say that again, because my, my connection, you got to be patient. Only me, God is the truth. Correct? Yes. So if I say God is the truth, you're trying to tell me I bid it from Jesus? What I'm saying is that the Quran gets it from Jesus. But That's but, not what you said. You yeah, said, that, because that I, I'm asked, saying, I asked Allah. you in the beginning said, to bring what you Allah got, and you said, Allah. He yeah, took it from Jesus. He, you said he took it from Jesus 600 years prior, correct? That's the argument. Yeah. Okay. But I asked you, is God is a truth? And you said yes, correct? Mm -hmm. Which makes So when we God. say Allah, what, who are we talking about here? Well, again, this is my point. You, the okay. God of the Quran, obviously mm -hmm. I don't believe that that's God, but the God of the Quran claims the titles of Jesus. That's my point. And so just, just to kind of hinge this in, uh, since God is only the truth, then you would agree mm -hmm. with me, right? That Jesus is claiming to be God when he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, right? No, I would not. But you said that only God is the truth. Yeah, only God is the truth. So if Jesus says, I'm the truth, then he's claiming to be God, right? That is your claim. That is not my claim. Avery, don't you confuse me for one of these biscuit Muslims that just learned English yesterday or just found about is Islam yesterday and don't know what they're talking about. All right? You know very well I know what I'm talking about. That is your claim. Your claim is that Jesus is the truth and therefore he is God. That is not my claim. When I asked you if you agree that God is the truth, you said what? Yes, correct. I also agree that God is the truth, correct? We agree on this. So how are Arabs calling, what is the name of the Arabic, how were Arabs calling God before Islam? What was his name before Islam? What was it? You're missing a key point. You're missing a key point. I'm not missing anything, Avery. I'm not, did you not just say, did you not just say? Okay, go ahead. Good job. Let me just point it out. Did mm. you or did you not say that only God is the truth? Did you not say that? That is correct. Okay, so this is your claim. Only God is the truth. Boom. That is correct. So if Jesus is claiming to be the truth, then he's mm -hmm. claiming to be God since only God is the truth, correct? That is your claim, Avery. Well, that wait, is I, not I, my I claim. What are you saying my claim is? You are claiming 
that Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light, meaning you are making that equation that he is God. That is your claim. That is not my claim. Right. First of all, first off. of all, we have Let to establish just... a couple of things, right? Wait, wait, you, wait, your, wait, wait. your claim, your claim from this I verse. I see, I see the confusion. Go ahead, go ahead. Please. I see the confusion. Go ahead. So you're saying that Jesus never said this, right? I'm, I'm claiming Jesus said this, but you're saying Jesus didn't say this. Is that correct? I never said that Jesus didn't say that. Okay. I said that well, your claim, uh, okay. your claim so is that Jesus is saying... That I am the way, the truth, and the light equates to him being caught, being God. That is a your question. claim. That's what I'm it saying. Was a question. No, it was a question. If me. yes, yes, you are saying based upon this verse in the Bible, right, where Jesus mm -hmm. says, I am the way, the truth, and the light, that this here equates Jesus being God, correct? That he's claiming to be God. That's your claim. Okay. No, my that's claim. My that's my question to you. You're asking me if Jesus, if Jesus claimed to be God, or did he, did he say, I am the way, the truth, and the light? Okay, so here's the question again, okay? When Jesus says, since only God is the truth, and Jesus in that verse says that he is the truth, then he's claiming to be God, correct? So it's a question. Is Jesus claiming to be God when he says, I am the truth? No, he's not. Okay. So you need to break that down for me because you said that only God is the truth. So if I did not say God that. The truth, the, I, the, that's what you said. Again, Avery. Yes, walk off. Walk off, Avery. Yes. And anybody can rewind it and play it back. As a matter of fact, you can rewind it right now. Rewind it right now. I asked you, Avery, right, is God the truth? And you said yes. Correct? One second. One, one second. Let's all pause. Let's all just pause. Okay. Let's just pause. Did I did I not ask you, is God the truth? Yes or no? Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, you all right. Let's just hold I on. asked just you, hold is on. God the truth? And you said yes, oh, hold on. which hold on. I agreed. Hold on. God is the truth. Hold on, Correct? bro. Chill, relax. Then, hold on. Hold on. okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Just hold on. Hold on. I'm not even going to talk over you. We're just going to do this for a second. We're just going to no do this really quick. All right. <clears throat> Where's my live at? Oh, my yeah, get the live. No living being should ever eat processed Wait for, the ads. for every single meal of their life. Go ahead. All right. Just got to wait for it to make sure you guys are hitting the like button. No living being should ever eat right. processed wait for, the ads. for every single meal of their life. Let's see here. Go ahead. All right. Maybe around here. Rewind it back. So I'll mute this. Connection when it comes to Islam and Christianity. And then you see that these similar titles that you that Jesus has about himself and, and Christianity in the Bible, the Quran applies to Allah. And so Avery, let me ask you a question. Okay. Is God sure. the truth? Yes. Only God is the truth. Would you agree? So only God is the truth, correct? Say, say, say that again, because my, my connection, you got to be patient. With only me, God is the truth, correct? Yes. So if I say God... So did you not just say that only God is the truth and ask me to affirm it? I agree with you that God is the truth, correct? But I disagreed with you that you're saying that Jesus is saying that he is God. Okay. So wait a second, because you said. So now you are saying, you, didn't say you are saying wait, 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 that Jesus wait, wait. is saying, Bijan, I am the way, Bijan, the truth, and the light. You, you are the one who is you claiming. Said, you said you are, you, you are the one who that. that his statement, I am the truth, wait, on, means that he is second. God. I, I you get it? You but you said, bro, you said that you never said that only God is the truth. But we just heard you, Right. You said only God is the truth, correct? Uh, yes, I said what I said. I said that God, okay. I asked you first, I asked you first, that is God the truth? And you said what? 
Dude, you said stop what? Stop wasting my time. Please stop wasting my time. You agree Avery. that only God, you, you, you yourself said it. That only God okay. is the truth. Only God is only the, God truth, is the truth. Only God is the truth. Beautiful. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, now let's let's Go get ahead. to the point now. So if okay. only God is the truth, if mm -hmm. Jesus says that he's the truth, then he's claiming mm -hmm. to be God, right? No, he is not, Avery. That's the whole point. I break, this I break is it down. In the con first of all, like I was saying before, the first thing we got to establish is the context of what Jesus was speaking. That's the first thing we got to establish. What context was he speaking in? And the second thing we got to establish is, is, is the Bible the word of God? Why? We don't have to establish if the Bible is the word of God or not, or the context. If only Why is God that? is the truth, if only God is the truth, and Jesus claims to be the truth, then he claims to be God. It's a simple syllogism. Premise one. No problem, no problem, Premise no problem. One. Okay. Look, follow it. Okay. Follow. Premise you, one. The claim, Premise the claim one. here, okay. Only God is the truth. The claim here. Look. Premise one. Only God is the truth. Premise okay. two. I'm with you. Jesus I'm with says you. He's the truth. Conclusion. I'm with I'm Jesus with you. Okay, okay, God. Avery. I'm with you. Only, only God is the truth. Okay. That's only God said. is the truth. I'm with you. Okay. All right. What's what's the rest of the verse? You broke up. You have to repeat yourself. Sorry. What is the rest of the verse? He says the same no verse that you're quoting. Father, what's the rest of it? No one comes to the Father except through me. So is he talking about himself or is he talking about something else? Is he talking about talking his about own both. divinity? Yeah, he's talking about both. You're saying, Avery, that this verse here, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the right. Father. You have the life, that's what I said. No one comes to the Father except through me. This means that he's divine? That's what you're saying? Yes. Yes. Okay, by the context of that very same verse that you quoted, it's not proof that he's divine. And it's very clear okay. from the context. Because if you are coming to the Father, you're not going to, you're not, at this point, you're, Jesus is directing you to somebody else, correct? Yes or no? It's both. You got to come to Jesus to get to the Father. And the Father brings you to Jesus. It's both. Okay, no, no worries. When Jesus was asked how to pray, what did he say? What does this have to do with anything? <laughs> Avery, when Jesus was asked how to pray, what did uh, he if, say? If you want, you're you you're claiming you're, 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 you're the one who's saying I'll, I'll that you. okay. you're the same I'll, one who's saying I'll, that, I'll, that Jesus is, I'll, is the vine, I'll, correct? I'll show, you. I'll show you. I'll show you. When Jesus, when Jesus is asked how to pray, matter of fact, we'll stay in yeah. John 14 to explain this. When Jesus is asked yeah, go how ahead, to pray, go ahead. Yeah, I got you, brother. When Jesus is asked how to pray, this is what he says. And then we're going to get back to this truth title because you still didn't break down how Jesus claiming to be the truth, which is only a title for God, is not claiming to be God. You say, you just asked me questions. You he is not down. claiming to so, have one of the attributes of God. It's so very clear in that very same verse that you just quoted. How does Jesus, whoever, whoever, how does Jesus say uh, what you call it? I got you, bro. I got you. I got you. Yeah. How did no Jesus one comes to the, the Father except through meeting through how me. Did Jesus meaning, say his message you, is the truth. I got you. Relax. Go ahead. Relax. Go ahead. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Logos. Logos. How did Jesus tell us to pray? This is what he says. Verse mm -hmm. 13 and 14. Whatever you ask in my name, this I will do. Same chapter, by the way, that he says he's the truth. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. According to Jesus, who are we praying to and who answers our prayers? Avery, again, you know very well I'm not asking about this. You know very well, Avery, I'm not asking about this. Go ahead. Try again, Avery. Go ahead. You're going to get rich tonight. Don't worry. You're going to get rich. Go ahead. Boy! Boy, you boy, 
you, boy, hey, hey, boy, you over here getting chopped up, boy. You getting chopped up. Come on, bring me back on. Bring it back on. Chop me up. No, no, you're Chop here, me you're up. Here. Go ahead. Okay. Here. Okay. Go ahead. You know what I'm asking. Go ahead, Avery. Jesus answered your question. According to the verse, G I verse, asked you again who do we pray when Jesus was Jesus? asked. Okay, you know what? Let me get the verse. Let yeah. me get the verse. No, no, it's right here. You're going to be question. running around all day. One second. It's One right second. Here. Let me Answer get the, the verse. You post it. You post it. Let me get it's the verse. Right you post here. it. One Please second, Avery. Please. Run away from I'm not running from, from anything, Avery. I'm here, right? Okay, good. You're so, about to get very, very rich. Don't worry. You're going to make money tonight. You're going to make money Jesus tonight. Say, who does Jesus say that we pray to and who answers our prayers according to what Jesus just said here on the screen? Yeah. One moment, one moment Avery. One minute, Avery. Please, one minute. No, one one minute. Doesn't take a moment, but just answer it. One minute, Avery. One minute. Whatever let's you let ask, us be clear. For, let's be crystal clear, clear first, this, okay? I, I don't do. I don't believe in the gospel, the gospel of John. Okay. But you just asked me. I don't believe in the gospel of John. So it's not it's not a criterion for me. Right? But I'm, I'm not asking answering questions from the gospel of John as a as a what you call a courtesy to you because we're having this conversation. Okay. But you so but let's you be clear. asked me how did you asked me how did Jesus teach you to pray? I'm showing you. So I know this isn't your authority, but you can at least be honest with the text, right? You don't have to reject the text just because you're a Muslim. I know you don't believe this. No, I can reject can the text. I can, I, can reject, text right? I can reject the text outright. I don't believe in no, that. No, but what I'm saying, what I'm saying is you can't you can't I don't say I don't it believe in that. Says, right? No, you're missing you're No, missing I yourself. asked you when Jesus was asked how to pray. So when Jesus is asked, what does he say? Right here. What does no, he say? I'm asking you when he was asked and who answers our prayers according to Jesus. One second, let me get the verse. Please answer. It's right here. One second, let me get the verse, Avery. You know what I'm asking, anyways. It's, it's you know, right here. Why you know, are you Avery. Running from the text? You can, you can running? just get the verse. You can just get the verse directly why, because you know exactly you what I'm running? asking. Why are you running? Who's running, Avery? You. I asked you a direct question. I asked you two. Direct come on, questions. Avery. Come on, Avery. Now you're running about Avery. Jesus come on. You, you know, you know very well I'm not running. You know okay, very so well I'm not running. Whatever you ask in my name, this I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask me in anything in my name, I will do it. Who does Jesus tell us to pray to? Again, for me, John is not an authority. But the question, the question was, again, when he was asked directly, Rabbi, see? how do we pray? What did he say? See? You can't even answer the question. Yeah, I can't can because I, that's not an authority to me. And this, and you know the answer to the question. You can just, you can just go, you can just go to the, to the, to what I'm asking. You can if you want. Just, a, just, answer, just answer this at least. According to this text, Jesus says I, that we can pray. That, him, right? Even the Book of John for me is not an authority. I'm asking you a different question. I'm not asking you about the Book of John. For me, for me, you know what I th feel about the. I think you know what I feel about the Book of John. Anyways, I say what the scholars say about the Book of John. Wait. So do you believe? Do you believe in the Book of Matthew? I don't believe in any of those gospels. So then why are you running? So, so why are you neglecting John? If I bring up Matthew, you reject that too. Why are you trying to go to Matthew or Mark or Luke or John? I'm sorry, uh, Matthew, Mark. Or I'm Luke. not trying to go to Matthew, Mark or Luke or John. I asked you when Jesus was asked how to pray, what did he say? And you I'm know the you answer. And that's why, you, that's why you're smirking and giggling and laughing. You know what he said. I'm telling you what he said. It's very easy. Said, e every Christian, Christian in the, in my every Christian in the audience it. knows what he said to you. <laughs> See, look, you're getting rich. So everybody everybody is, is giving you money now. I told you you're going to get rich. I told you you're going to get rich. Hey, look, look, my friend. My friend. So go, just answer. I just think, answer. Do I, I, do think, I, think, I think that you will probably be better off. Let's go back to the first topic, okay? Because you got you go couldn't ahead. handle that one. So let's get back to the truth topic. What 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 could can I handle? You, couldn't I handle? Can you break, can you break down for me when you said only God is the truth, and we see here in John fourteen six, Jesus claims to be the truth. Can you break down to me how that doesn't mean that Jesus is claiming to be God? How can Jesus claim to be the truth, which only God is, and not be claiming to be God? Please break that down. He is talking about his message, and it's and the context is in the very same verse. It's in the same verse. I am the truth. I'm the way, the truth, 
and the light. No one comes to the Father except through me. He's either, is he directing you to himself or is he directing you to the Father? Who is he directing, directing the people to? Himself. Am, am, I, am I crazy? How do you get to the Father? Yeah, through, Je through Jesus. Just like so every other prophet. So who is he directing Just you like to? every other prophet, every other messenger. Okay, can you show me where any other prophet or any other messenger said, in order to get to God, you have to go through me. Show me that. Show me where Moses, Adam, Abraham, anyone made that statement. Muhammad, show me where they made the statement. The prophet, peace be upon him, he said, and as a matter of fact, in the Quran, it says that, uh, I was starting stream. It says, he says, tell them, if you love Allah, to follow me. You hibbukum Allah, and then and then Allah will love you. and He will uh, forgive your sins. And I forgot the rest of the rest of the verse. But anyways, <laughs> anyways, the whole point is that if you love Allah. What is, the pro what is Allah ordering the Prophet Muhammad? To follow who? Follow him. Direct. I, I think you're lost. For me, it's, for me, it's breaking up, but let me just see if I got the gist of what you said. It was breaking up a lot, but I'm trying to, because I have a really bad connection, bro, but I'm trying to get the gist go of what ahead, you said. Go so ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. You're going you to you're gonna make money today. You're going to make money today. So you quoted a verse that says, yeah. That if you if you love Allah, then follow mm -hmm. me. Then mm -hmm. so after after you follow me, then Allah will mm -hmm. love you and forgive your sins. Is that correct? That's correct. So the forgiveness of, of your sins and the love of Allah mm -hmm. is contingent upon your your following Muhammad. Yes, of course. And you mean to tell me that that's not shirk? How is that shirk? How? Okay. You just made a partner with Allah. That, okay, okay. Okay, have, Avery, let's, let's define you, a couple of things you, here before you continue. You fell right into the trap. You fell right let into us, the let's trap. Define, let us define a couple of things before we continue. You, what you is fell shirk? right into the trap, Habibi. You yeah, no worries. Right no trap. worries. What is shirk? What is shirk? I Your fell into the trap. You're right. What is shirk? Well, go ahead. The forgiveness of a shirk is associating a partner with Allah. So you're associating in what? Yes, in, yeah, okay. with a partner with Allah. Cave, how is this to show you're going to partner with him? I'll do how? it. I'll, I'll break it down again. Sure. Good question. Good question. Guys, how is this associating Muhammad with Allah? Beautiful. The brother asked a very good question. Brother asked a very, very good question. Oh, there you go. How Here we go, this? Avery. How does this? How does this? Here we go. How Here we go, Avery. Associate Muhammad with Allah. Let me answer the question. When the verse says, Love Allah to <laughs> Here Allah comes. to receive Allah's love. <laughs> you must follow the Prophet, peace be upon him. <laughs> if you don't follow the Prophet, peace be upon him, Allah will not love you, nor will he forgive you. So in mm -hmm. order, watch this, in order to forgive, to get Allah's forgiveness and his love, mm -hmm. you must follow Muhammad. That's a part. Yes, of course. That's a part. Of course. That's As a, a partner. Did you just say as a partner? That's that's a partner. In order to oh, you said Allah's that's a love, that's not a partner, my friend. That's not a partner. That's not a partner, Allah's my friend. Love, in order to even love, in the real world, there's Allah's no Allah's reality. Allah. There is no reality where that can be considered a partner, my friend. That is, there is really? no reality where that can be considered a partner. Okay, tell, this tell relationship, this relationship, is relationship between the creator of the heavens and the earth and his slave. That's it. Did you ask, you you asked a question? To be uni. You, have, you have to follow the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Can you follow anybody else after he sent a messenger? So at the time of Abraham, peace be upon him, were the people obliged to follow Abraham or follow other people? At the time of Moses, were the people uh, obliged to follow Moses or uh, any other people? Was the love of God contingent on their relationship? E even the when you go to work, even when the, you go to work, you have a manager and then yeah. you have the owner. 
The manager it's manages. Trouble. He's not the partner of the comp of the company. You're in trouble. Go ahead, go ahead. Don't worry, don't worry, bro. I'm just, I'm just here having a conversation with you, my man. That's it. I'm just I'm having, having fun, fun just like you. Yeah, I'm, I'm having fun. I'm having fun for real, for real. That's what's about. That's what's about. Yeah. So the trouble that you get in, bro, with this idea is that Allah's love and forgiveness is tied to your relationship with Muhammad. Yeah, of course. You have to follow and love Muhammad in order to even be forgiven by God and loved by yeah. God. Yeah. That's that's literally a partnership. Muhammad's a partner with Allah. No, it's not a partnership. It's not Can a partnership. I it, these, love and forgiveness love without is always Muhammad. conditional, my friend. Even a court, even in Christianity, love is conditional. You get it? It has nothing to do with, with partner or anything like that. Even in your own dogma, right? You believe that you have to love Christ. Correct? Christ is it God. Only become, it only becomes a partnership because you explicitly state that Jesus is a God besides Allah. Or you say that he's a part of the Trinity or, or whatnot. That's when it becomes a partnership. We are not equating Muhammad, peace upon him, to God at all. No, you're, you're missing it. You're missing it. Because I'm not are, missing anything, missing anything, anything, Avery. Avery. I'm not well, your well, audience, let bro. <laughs> let, me, let, me show you what, let me show you what you're missing. The reason Go ahead. why, um, the reason why it's not shirk upon us to say, if you do not love Jesus, then you will go to hell is because Jesus himself is God. You won't the, the if you the, you won't receive the grace of God if you reject Jesus because Jesus is God who gives the grace. So you reject Jesus, you're rejecting God's grace. It's different than saying a creature named who's who's claiming to be a prophet that your the the love of God and forgiveness, the mercy of God, is dependent on how you view this person. On your relationship with this creature. Muhammad is not God. So why is the grace of God tied to this human, to this creature? Why is the mercy of God tied and contingent on this creature? See, in you our see, doctrine, Avery, now that's this is a different is question. Is this himself, is a different question, himself. Avery. This is a different question because the original no, no, question. But do, see, no, but do you see the difference? Yeah, you, you see, the original our, our question, if you remember, Avery. Avery, if you remember, what's, what was the original question? The original question was, break down how Jesus, when he We finished that. We finished truth, that. After, after that question. After right. that question. We finished that question. After that question, you asked me a question that, that, that let us... Somehow we ended up there. Yo, you finished that question. The question was, name another prophet that said that uh, they were the, the truth or something like that in order to get to God. That's how we reached it. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. In that so context. Yes. Right? So, you're so then I quoted the verse. And now, because you, you and um, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's totally amazing. Avery, it is. what you described with re the relationship between Jesus and God, you actually described Shirk perfectly. You described Shirk. And then, you know what, Shirk, you, you actually said you must believe that Jesus is God. You said, you, you said this, correct? You said this, correct? Mm -hmm. And we are saying you must follow the Prophet Muhammad, peace be, peace be upon him. Is following and worshiping the same thing? So if my children your, follow me, are they worshiping me? In your, in your case, it is. Because you're putting him as a partner with God. Let me tell you why. That's because what you here, said. Again, it's just like what we well, said in the friend, beginning. Well, you I, said... I talk, you go, go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Avery. Go, go, go ahead, go ahead. So this, go ahead, go ahead, bro. in the verse right here, what we're talking about, Jesus doesn't say, mm -hmm. follow me, and, you're, and you know, uh, that's not what he says. He says, I am the way. He says, I'm the way. Don't, don't, don't follow mm -hmm. me on the path. He says, I am the path. Okay? Mm -hmm. I am the way. I am al-Haq. I am the truth. And mm -hmm. I am the life. These are mm -hmm. all titles of Allah. 
All of them. Maybe I don't know about the path or the way, because it's a, the Quran does say that Allah Himself is on the straight path. So I don't know about that one. But being the truth and the life, these are titles of Allah. Okay. Now he says, no one comes to the Father except through me. So Excellent. the life that the Father gives. The way that he provides, the truth, is all Jesus. He is that. Excellent. Okay? Are you saying the same thing Excellent. about Muhammad? That Muhammad is the way. Muhammad is al-Haq, the truth. Muhammad is the life. There's no way to Allah except through Muhammad. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, you can't. How can you get to Jannah without, without following the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? How is this possible? And How is this possible? That you, that you just prove that Islam is not monotheistic. It's not. See, the reason why Avery. we still remain. Avery. Let me, let me just say this and I'll let you talk. I promise. The reason why go, okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. We, we remain in monotheism while even mm -hmm. affirming that Jesus is these things and is God along with the Father and the Spirit is because we're saying that the same God is, is, is uh, you know, consists of three persons. Jesus being one of them, the Father being another, the Holy Spirit being another, they share the same nature as the one divine being. However, you don't believe that. You believe that Allah is one person, absolutely singular in his essence. Muhammad is not God. However, but you're putting so him up on that. You just admitted it. As a you just admitted it. So we're not making so you're, shark then. You're making Muhammad, you're making Muhammad a God. Nobody is making Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu a God. Nobody's doing that. Nobody is doing that. Who is doing this? Who, who, who are these people worshiping Muhammad, Avery? Where are they? Who, who is it? Who is it? Me. Okay. He just points at the camera. Okay. No worries. No worries. And how exactly am I worshiping Muhammad, Avery? When, I, when the Allah says, when, when Allah says he commands the people to follow the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, then he makes it a condition for you to follow the Prophet Muhammad in order to get to paradise. This is worship? This is not worship, Avery. Can I answer you? Just like it was conditional for the people who, to follow Moses, peace, peace be upon him, in order to be freed from Pharaoh or whatnot, all right? it's the same type of thing. All the prophets came with the same message. The only people, by your admission, who are making messengers, their gods, are Christians. That's it. Can I go now? Go ahead. Dude. Yes, you can, you young man. Th thank you. I appreciate it. You literally just mm. said that Muhammad is the way, is the truth, and is the life. There's no way to Allah except through him. You just mm -hmm. gave him attributes and titles that belong to Allah and Allah alone. That's how you're making him a God, and that's how you're worshiping him. Somehow you just I'm not doing it. that. I'm not doing that, Avery. I'm doing it in, this, in the context of that same verse. You asked me a question with the context of the verse that you quoted, correct? Yes or no? So, again... Are these, is the truth and the life, these are titles of Allah, correct? Yeah, of course. Can anybody have the same titles as, as Allah? What do you mean? Like carry them, carry them by themselves? Can anybody have the same title of Allah? In terms of the attributes, you can't, no human being can carry the attribute by itself. But you can have aspects of an attribute. For example... Mercy, for example, truth, for example, life. These are attributes yeah. of, of Allah, correct? And, are you living right now? Can someone else other are than Allah Are you living right now? Be, hold on. Can someone else other than Allah be Al Rahman? No, of course not. Okay, the most merciful. So mm -hmm. th this is what I'm asking. I'm not asking if people can have, you know, certain attributes of you know, or trinkets of the attributes that Allah has, like mercy, forget, yada, yada, yada. You know, we have mercy. We have knowledge. He's the all-knowing. He's Okay. All knowledge. right. So what's the problem? What's can, the problem? So here's the question again. Can mm -hmm. anyone, can a creature 
share the titles of Allah. Can they have the same titles that Allah has? No, of course not. So you broke up for me, but say that again, please. Of course not, Avery. Okay, of course not. Yeah. So <clears throat> this is where we're at. Since it's, of, okay, go ahead. it's an of course not, absolutely not. So mm -hmm. then there is no context in which you can say that a creature is the way, the truth, or the life. You can't do it. Of course there or is. Else. Yes, you if you if you're reading sure. if you're reading the Bible, yes there is context there. Because you're talking about a different language with a different people at a different time. This in yes this there's context, absolutely you, context. Let me let me ask be, you something Avery. Let me sure? let me ask you something. Oh, is that statement Let me ask you sure? something. Let me ask let me ask you no, something. No, let me ask, ask you something. Okay. Is that statement shirk? Sure? What I statement? I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No one comes to the Father to God except through me. Is that statement shirk? Sure? Now you're quoting the full verse. The way that you quote it in the beginning okay. is absolutely for shirk. Sure. The way that you said it in the beginning. That's why I asked you for the context, correct? And now you quote the full verse, and then you ask me for the context. So you tell Is me it if it's shirk. Not? Is it shirk or not? You tell me if it's shirk. I just need I need to know, bro. You tell me if it's shirk. Please. Like I said, Please. everything has a context. You believe Jesus is the Son of God, correct? You're not answering me. Is that statement shirk? I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. All titles of Allah, no one comes to the Father except through me. Is that statement shirk? Yes or no? In the context that is mentioned in the Bible, no. But in the context which you mean, absolutely. Got absolutely it. it is. Okay. All right, got you. Let's move on to another one. Let's move on to another one. Go ahead, so go ahead. Have, Let's go. Anybody can have the titles of Allah. It's shirk and not shirk. I'm confused on it. We'll move on to the next one. Um, who judges on the day of judgment and raises his life? <laughs> Let me ask you a question, Avery. Let me ask Come you. Come on, man. Let me ask you a question, Avery. Come on, we're having what fun, right? Shit. We're having fun, right? You got to admit you're having fun. Can you just answer the question? No, you got to admit you're having fun first. Of course I'm having fun. I always have fun. All right. So who? Does God, David, does, is who, Jesus God's son? Who at the hour, please, who at the hour raises the dead and judges on the day of judgment at the hour? Allah only. Only Allah. So if someone yeah, of course. claims to raise the dead and judge at the hour, are they claiming to be God? I don't know. You, you tell me. What's the context? Just bring the verse. Bring the verse and we'll discuss it. <laughs> bring the verse. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead, Avery. Bring it. I Just put it on the screen. I got it. I gotta bring up. I gotta bring up other guests. I gotta bring up other guests. Come on, man. Come yeah. on. You're making money, man. Time. Don't. Oh, I did. You're making money, I gotta, man. I gotta, I gotta bring up the, the next guest. Let me ask you Thanks a question before you kick me off. Sure. What's Let me ask you a question before. Is Jesus the Son of God? Yes. All right. In what context? Take care, bro. I, you broke up, but you asked the question. I answered your question. And, and what? In what context? In what I context? Do not want to, I don't want to cut you off rudely, but I'm going to drop you and move on. Okay. All right. If you clip, if you, if you clip this up, be nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can take it. You have, a, right. you have my full permission. Go ahead and, and you know do your thing. No, I just came here because I was bored or whatever. Right. I just wanted start, to start jump on. You invited okay. me twice. You invited me twice. Mm -hmm. I never do this stuff. Right? But if you on could just answer this. What's that? On a scale from 1 to 10, how much did you enjoy yourself? No, I thought it was kind of fun. But I don't really like doing this stuff. 
No. Right? I thought it was all right. Well, it's not bad. Well, good. You're, 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 not, you're not what I thought you were. You know? See? I thought you'd be a lot more more rude, right? But you're all right. You're all right, guy. You're all right, guy. <laughs>